What's going on, guys? We're live at my mom's house. Hey, everybody. We're uh, going to give a few minutes for people to zoom in. Molly's phone's blowing up. Because you're live. Because I'm live. <laughs> Tommy Wilson, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining. We're going to give it a few minutes for people to come in. I got some cool things to show you guys here. You didn't see none of that yet. Uh, I'm going to show off some things that I've done, some things we're going to try. We just got done ordering. Uh, we spent the day going through and uh, getting all our orders in for materials. So these guys are going to be helping me this year. I'm going to introduce them all. You guys seen them at the conference. And uh, we're going to cover some things. So starting off first, you guys know me. I'm Tim. Been doing this for a long time. These guys are hopping on this year. My mom, Lena, and my sister-in-law, Molly, and my brother, John, which you guys know, he's not here right now. He's at home with his family. He wasn't able to, to attend. Whisker Sticks, Employee of the Month, goes to your mom. Hey! <laughs> she was hauling butt at the conference, man. They both pitched in a lot. Oh, um, we had a great time, though. It was, it was awesome. And the people that we met, I mean... Everyone there was awesome. Chris, I just want to tell you, buddy, um, I really appreciate that hat that you gave me. I mean, I wear it at work, and um, I just love you for it. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. Joseph, Joseph Heron says, yes, she did. She kicked butt. Chris Boyd, Jason Burton, thanks for joining in. I'm a little bit away from the phone, so I'm going to try to watch the comments as they scroll through. Sarah Madison girl, yes, I'm with, yeah, I'm with Sarah, what's going on? Yeah. Hey fam. <laughs> <laughs> um, so things I want to cover this, uh, in this video, I wanted to introduce you guys to the family. They're going to be pitching in a lot this year. They've been, I don't know if you guys can see this right here, but Molly's been taking care of, well, her and my mom, they've been uh, taking care of doing inventory count of what we got left after the conference. And uh, what we had in storage, we sat down and spent most of the day calculating everything, uh, doing some budgeting and getting all of our orders in for materials. So everything's on its way. Whisker sticks are going to be coming back soon. We got a nice big huge batch coming in and we got some new things coming back that we're, we're going to bring back too. And uh, I'm going to show off a couple things, a couple prototypes I made up, let you guys get a first peek at those. So... Um, Without further ado, uh, as far as colors go, we're going to bring back the orange and the color changers. The fast and slow color changers, we had some demand for those. Um, as far as the purple was concerned, I'm still uh, kind of hesitant on the purple because uh, it, if you get actual purple bulbs, they're not as bright. And the purple blaze that I made, they were pink with purple filters. And uh, they were, they looked too similar to me and it felt kind of redundant to sell them. Why is it getting blurry? Focus! I, I think it's because I'm moving constantly. <laughs> might be that. Might be that ceiling <coughs> fan, stupid galaxy. Um, this one right here that I'm holding in my hand, I got two of these here. These two pro prototypes I made. And uh, they're kind of the same. Will it help to kill that light show them all? I don't know if you guys can see these very good, but uh, they're non-ribbed whisker sticks. They're still color-coded, Yeah. and uh, the only difference is, is they don't have that ring. Uh-oh. They don't have that light ring look, so uh, uh, appearance-wise, they're not all that different. They just got a different look without having the, uh, the light ribs. And Tommy's guessing the fan too. And uh, something else I want to show here, guys, another prototype is this one. Now, this isn't purple, this is ultraviolet. Black light whisker stick. For all you guys who use slime line, high vis mono, uh, glow in the dark plastics, I'm going to be testing some things out with that. And just to show a comparison of brightness, it looks kind of bright in this video. But it nowhere near compares to this. These are both at full power. So the black light doesn't have as much shine, but it's got the black light capability. So we're going to see how that uh, affects things. 
So I'm going to be doing some testing with it here over the next few weeks. And if I decide to go full production with it, I'll let you guys know. But we're just not sure if it's going to be a, a good sell point yet. You can turn that light back on. Send me a few of the black lights. Yeah, everybody seems curious about them. I want to see how they turn out. I'm going to be uh, using these probably on some lunch break bikes while it's still at, uh, dark on my lunch break at work. I got slime line rigged up on my reels and we're going to see how much of that line it illuminates. And we're just going to see if it's feasible because there's, they're not as bright. They don't have a lot of output so you're not going to be able to see these as far away. You can see them, they're just not as bright. So I bought like a hundred of them to check out and uh, we'll see how it goes. Something else I wanted to show, you guys know what this is, this Muddy River Cat Bobber. And uh, we, we modified it a little bit. So I'll give a zoom in on it real quick. I created a coin slot, like a keyhole slot for it, for the whisker stick. Now I'm not the first person to think of this. All credit goes to Frank Neely. He's got a video of how to do it on YouTube. So go check out Twisted Fishing TV with a Z. T-W-I-Z, Twisted Fishing TV. If you guys are already subscribed to Frank Neely, you can see that mm -hmm. on the video. He does a cool video. He does that whole yeah, I like that thing, thing where he's going like this so quick. That but what it does it is you guys out. got the Muddy River Cat Bobber comes with a glow stick, a bracelet glow stick. You put it in here. It's got an arch that goes from a hole to hole. But now you got this whisker stick slot, and that goes down in there and. I don't do it as good as Frank. It's not gonna come <laughs> off. <laughs> Maybe a whisker stick flashlight to hook on the reel to see some line. Yeah, there we go. There you go. There's all kinds of ideas we're gonna be coming out with this year, guys. We're gonna be looking into more apparel. Um, probably we're gonna try to go full production with apparel. Come out with things like hats. Uh, she's telling me to make sunglasses because um, I always got sunglasses on. So there's there's gonna be lots of things coming out, mm -hmm. but. Uh, <laughs> that was something I wanted to show. If you guys wanted to see out how to do this, I'm going to be getting a hold of the, the guy that makes these and see if we can work out a deal where maybe you can get a whisker stick with each Muddy River Cat Bobber that you get too. So uh, I've talked to him briefly about it about a year ago. He was interested and we never really got to touch base on it again. So I'm going to see if uh, we can do something with that. And if you guys have any questions while we're talking, uh, pop them in and we'll try to answer them. But uh, just wanted to give you guys a direction of where we're going. Uh, we got some things that are lined out for the year. We're going to try to have a whole bunch of lights coming out here soon. Um, as of this point right now, I don't see the price changing on anything, but we have kicked around, maybe taking it up just a little bit. Uh, we're going to do some more math. Um, if you guys didn't know, in the past couple years, I'm, I'm not a big uh, OCD guy when it comes to money and things like that and they've actually sat down and itemized everything out and gave me a true cost and we're going to watch the data for a little bit so if it goes up don't be surprised but as of right now i don't see that changing anytime soon uh something else i wanted to put out here i don't know if you guys noticed what's on this hat river rider pro staff hat mr kyle williams or not kyle williams kyle mullins uh, contacted me uh, last week, uh, right at, or earlier this week after the conference. He said, hey, I got a surprise for you sometime. Come pick it up. So I met him at his house, picked it up, and he had this shirt. It's a River Rider shirt and a hat that he got from uh, Rod and Peggy Hember, and they uh, rigged it up to get to me. So thank you very much. And if you guys want to check some of this apparel out, mm -hmm. go see the River Rider website and get a hold of them. I'm meeting with the bait shop owner Tuesday to show your product and a few other people's product. Hopefully he goes for it. Cool, man. Yeah, that'd be awesome. There's Mrs. Mullins right there, Lauren. Cool lady. I got to hang out with her and Kyle for a little bit on my way from her, for on my way home from work the other night and we chatted for a little bit. I wouldn't pick this stuff up and it was really nice for Kyle to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Here's my daughter Alyssa. Hi. We're live. Sorry, I was watching videos. <laughs> She's gonna be with me and my son Andrew, uh, if he wants to come on it, is uh, on the 12th, 
not this, not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow, we're going to be on Catfish Weekly. So, if you guys want to tune into that and watch us on there, we're all going to be on there. She's probably going to be doing most of the talking. Lyle's your biggest fan, isn't he? <laughs> Got my son running around here in the background. You want to say hi, Andrew? Hi, I'm just trying to get the cat. <laughs> I just want to pet. I want to pet the cat in the orange one. So, um. Yeah, I just wanted to cover those things. We're, we're bringing back fire orange. We're bringing back slow changers. We're bringing back uh, fast changers. So anybody who's been looking to get color changers, we're bringing them back in stock in the new uh, third generation design. And uh, once we get stuff in over the next few weeks, we're going to be slapping lights together, getting them knocked out. She's watching us. Well, that way I can see what they're saying, and maybe if I yeah. want to say something. It's like an out-of-body experience. <laughs> <laughs> Lena, Lena Hardwick's watching. Hi, Lena. Um, yeah, we got the new colors coming out. There was a real high demand for orange, and uh, people were asking about the, the color changers, too. So we're going to try them out again and see how they do. Hopefully, uh, they'll stay, and that'll give people some more options. Orange definitely had a super high demand. Um, we are, as, even though we're out of stock right now, if you guys want to take pre-orders and you want to pre-order your whisker sticks for the upcoming season, feel free to send us a message and put the orders in. These guys now have full administrative access to the whisker sticks page along with my brother. So, uh, it might not always be just me that you guys are talking to. If I'm asleep or something and Molly's up and she sees the message, she'll chime in and, uh, get back with you. These guys are fully capable to answer any questions you guys have or handle any business that you want to do. So anybody who's writing us about a tournament, uh, is looking for sponsorship, stuff like that, they can answer questions about it. And uh, we'll sit down and have a talk uh, when we all get a, a day to sit and talk, and uh, then we'll get back and give a solid answer. Yeah, but if you do decide you want to purchase, we want to kind of give you a, a, an update. It might be be like six to eight weeks out yeah so as you put your order in uh for right now kind of direct it to molly so that way molly can get your order in and then um and then once the order is full and then she can uh get a hold of you and let you know when it's shipped yeah molly's gonna be pretty much in charge of all the purchasing sales uh inventory and keeping track of everything and uh, managing the accounts. Uh, Lena here is going to be in charge of doing all the business aspect of it and so if you guys got uh, managing any, things. Right. So if you guys got any tournaments coming up or any special events, um, you know, try to get a hold of me and then maybe we can set up some kind of times and then I can get a hold of Tim and then we can sit down and discuss what you need. How much you need if you even need us there personally so we can get all the information and then uh, we maybe we can get everything settled yep and uh, my brother John who isn't here you guys have seen him all over um, he's gonna be uh, forefront in a lot of the advertising and uh, marketing and uh, helping me uh, on the side with some designs and uh, coming up with some new ideas for some other products we might have coming out in the future uh, I don't see any new products coming out probably this season. It's not a promise. We could. But uh, definitely within the next couple of years, you guys are going to start seeing a lot of growth and a lot of changes oh, for Whisker Sticks. Yeah, because my goal is for Tim is by the time we go to conference next year, I want to have multiple things with Whisker Sticks name on it. Um, so, And then also anybody that has or anything that they would like to make a combo with Worcester Sticks or you need more advertisement on your product, uh, we are more than glad to get together with you and just, you know, spread the word all the way around. This is my nephew, Gannon. This is Molly's son. I'm trying to buy some lights from you and maybe some info for sponsorship. Okay, Brian, anybody who's <coughs> wanting to order lights and needs them like now, um, 
you have to go through one of the dealers, which right now we got Hook Setter USA. You can get a hold of Peter Drees. You got Hooker's Terminal Tackle with uh, James Arwood. Uh, you can go to the Catfish Conference website and actually order them off your store. And if you're a member there, if you pay for the VIP membership, I think you get 10% off. Um, if you're in the San Antonio, Texas area and you're you want a local guy down there, Jesse Larito with Get Real Service carries them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure what these guys have in stock as far as quantity, but I do know they got some. Uh, we had enough to make uh, 40 more left over. We were sending those out to Peter uh, with Hook Setter here in the next day or two. So, uh, Brian, if you're in Ohio, you're near Cincinnati, you're more than welcome to meet me up, pick them up if you don't want to pay the shipping. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, if you guys are around the area... And you guys want to get some lights. Um, when we got them in stock, if you're nearby and you want to pick them up, you can pick them up. Not have to mess with the shipping. You can pay cash. We take every major credit card. Uh, we do PayPal invoicing for anything uh, outside of local pickup to ship them out to you. And uh, if you guys are wanting to do a PayPal invoicing order, like we've always done, you just send me a message with your email address. We write up an invoice, send it out to you. And uh, once you once we receive the payment, then we uh, package it up and ship it out to you. Um, anybody who's wanting to pre-order from when we get the next batch done, we'll take your pre-orders now. And uh, any order that's paid and filled, you guys are already paid for. And as soon as we get them made, they go straight out to you. And we'll do the order fulfillment and the order that the payments were received. How long is the life on those lights? They last 400 hours. Now, if you guys go back and watch that two-hour video that I did the other night, God bless you for st sticking it out and watching the two hours. But I covered the water thing on there. Uh, some people were asking about uh, how long they last submerged versus uh, dry. On a rod tip, never being in the water, you're going to get well over 400 hours of visible light on this. And on battery. about that time, it'll be about this bright. So it's still visible, but not as visible as a full power. And you got over 1,100 hours in the light bulb itself. No. Ain't it? 100,000. 100,000. 11 years. Okay. So just keep cycling out batteries with proper care. I covered that proper care. Chris Flores, what's going on? Hey, Chris. Terry Atkins, what's going on? Um, I've had these last almost 600 hours for me just because I'm used to, I guess, seeing them pretty dim. I have one plugged in for two months without taking the batteries out. See? And it all, it's all going to depend on people's vision, but that's the good solid number we give is 400. That's a baseline. Anything after that is uh, dependent on people's vision. But the batteries last a long time. They have a long shelf life if you're not using them often. Um, as far as the submersion goes, um, I went through and showed you guys some videos of what it looks like after being submerged in constant submersion for 100 hours. So that's in the water, never ever being taken out, how much rust is accumulated on the pins and the batteries, and how you can prevent it, and how you can make it last longer so it doesn't look like that once you get towards 100 hours. Because when you're fishing with them in the water, maybe every 15, 20 minutes, you guys are taking them out, checking your bait, or throwing in a new spot, or moving, and uh, you're not going to be leaving them in the water for more than maybe 30 minutes to an hour at a time. So when you take them out, pull the battery out, dry them off, blow this out make sure you ain't got no moisture in there before you put it back out and when you're done fishing for the day put them back out in your tackle box dry don't leave them sit in the water in there with your battery in with the water still inside there it'll rust out while you're not using it something else is a pro tip i think this was a doc's tip of the week at one point is these little silica gel packs if you guys get these in shoe boxes or whatever save them i think they come in backpacks closed uh, some electronics even put these in there in your tackle box with your lights or put this in a bag with your whisker sticks bag when you get it in order to keep all the moisture out of there mm -hmm. they go on the rod yep yeah, Jeff, got a demo right here Jeff wanted to know when we're going to come to uh, Toledo to fish with the muddy water fishing I got to try to find some time Jeff I want to get up there with you guys you guys came down here last time this year should be my turn so hopefully uh I can find time to do it. And then Brian says everything's flooded down here at the river. <laughs> He's ready to go. Oh yeah, I'm I'm ready to get out. I have I've gone stir crazy trying to fish. 
So to go on a ride, you use this reusable zip tie. That comes with the light. All right, it goes on like a zip tie, but you got that push button, let you take it right back off like a belt. You don't have to cut it. You can use it over and over again. You can take it all the way down to nothing. All the way down to nothing, and it'll still come back. If my fingers will work. And it'll pull right back out. So, if my finger was my rod, strap it on there, cinch it down, and then you're good on your rod. And these will go to darn near anything. You can tie them on the rod handles. We've covered that. Thousands of uses. You can put them on steering wheels, trolling motor handles, tents, deer stands. Okay, we will still come there, my... Oh, well... Oh, we, we will still, still come we there, still, my friend. I can't read. But we do appreciate John saying, you know, they are amazing. Thank you. And, John and uh, Jeff... Buy and, anything else. Yeah, John and Jeff and his crew, are they're awesome, man. Muddy Water Fishing. Check them out on YouTube. Subscribe to them. Make sure you tap that bell. Anytime you subscribe to a new channel so you get notifications when they come out with new stuff. They got a Facebook page too, I believe, so make sure you find that and jump on it. Okay, they ain't said nothing else. I thought I'd seen a new comment. Um, lost my trail of thought. But yeah, that's what I wanted to cover. Um, I wanted to show you guys that little uh, Muddy River Bobber modification that we've done. Chris does a great job with these. Uh, Selling these Muddy River Cat Bobbers, they're amazing. They can hold two pounds of bait mm. and stay buoyant. So if you get a two pound bluegill or a two pound shad and you want that thing swimming around live for huge 80 pound flatheads, <laughs> it'll float it. So uh, I'm gonna see what people think about these, uh, these uh, sleek whisker sticks. See if you guys like them versus the rib. I don't know if I got any sitting around. I'll, I'll do some pictures with uh I'll show them stand, side by side and see what you guys think of them uh, it's just something I'm thinking about trying and uh, see what you guys think of them and if, if it works out we'll work out maybe we'll do these on like a as order basis so if somebody says they want 10 of these we'll, we'll make them per order uh, not have them pre-made and then we'll send them out so just wanted to give you guys an update show you guys who we're going to be working with this year uh, we're getting more people involved. It's not going to be just me this time around. Thank God it's, it saves me so much time. The Muddy River Rod and the Whisker Sticks. Great combo. Yes. Yes, it is. I'll never get over when she, what she did when she well, picked it up. I don't even tell the story. <laughs> I was like, Mom, come check out these flathead rods. She picks it up and she goes, Oh, oh my God. They were so good. Yes. She's like, Oh my God. Crack me up. I cannot believe how light those poles were. They are. I mean, you look at it, and you're, a lot of poles is like carrying a hammer, but that one was so light, it was just amazing. And I, I wish I had more money, but, you know. She got her ripping lips instead. Yeah, I got them. I got one of them, too. I was happy to get that. Yeah. Thanks, Frank. I need three here. Within a month, my tournament starts soon. Okay. All right. What color? We are totally out of green. So if you're wanting green, I have zero bulbs. We're I think we got two thousand bulbs coming in. Yeah. For green. So we'll have them soon. But if you want something besides green, we could probably do that sometime this week and get them out to you. Yeah, you just gotta let us know what color red. Yeah, we got we got enough to make red. I think we got three reds sitting down there, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. I think we got three or four red. So we can there. send that out to you, Brian. So send us a message. Uh, and shoot us your email address, Brian. We'll get, we'll get you a PayPal invoice sent over. And then uh, we can uh, get them rocking. Tommy says, you know. Them and the Big Cat Fever rods are nice. Yes, they are. And uh, something I want to comment on about the flathead rods. Uh, Frank Neely mentioned mm -hmm. it in the video. Oh, okay, he sent. I see, I seen your message. I'll read it in a second. Catfish Bill, what's up? Uh, comment I want to make about the flathead rod. Frank Neely made a comment on it, and I want to reiterate it uh, on his video. Is 
when new products come out and I'm in no means bashing Chris's rods whatsoever. This is just something I think that people need to keep in mind. I need 50 of the disco lights. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the, the color changers personally. They give me a headache. Some people like them though. When, when new products come out, like if I come out with these, you guys remember my second generation model came out. I was 2,000 units into that before I realized there was a flaw and I had to go back and correct all of them. So if somebody, for God forbid, anybody finds a flaw with uh, this rod that Chris has put out and tried out, I think it's an amazing, wonderful light rod, very durable. He's showed that uh, it can pull a cart with no problem. But for some reason, if anybody does find anything, don't just fly off the handle and say it's garbage or junk. Because this is something Chris has tried. He's got a lot of money and time and thought and put into it. And when you come out with something for the first time, there's always something that you might uh, overlook. It certainly happened to me. I hope it doesn't happen to him because it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was something that Frank uh, put out there that people uh, seem to respond to. And it made me think back to when I had my issue with mine. So if anybody does per se find something, maybe shoot Chris just a, a polite uh, message and say, Hey, I was using your rod and I noticed this about it. Or I noticed it feels a little off balance or something. And whatever the case may be, but just shoot him a nice little message, give him some, uh, some feedback on it. That way he can improve it. If somebody goes out there and puts a post out and says, this thing's garbage, this happened when I was doing this, and it just snapped in half, and well, maybe you shouldn't be fishing for Goliath Grouper with the Muddy River Flathead Rod right off the bat. Because <laughs> they're like a 600 pound fish. But, just take your time, and uh, if, you, uh, if you find something wrong with any product that, that comes out, you know, any from anything anybody made if you if i put these uh black light whisker sticks out there and you guys don't like how bright they are send me a message and say hey man i, I tried it with my slime line it only lights up a half inch worth of line it's not very bright send me that in a message and let me know so i know not to keep making them and selling them because then that's just costing me money chris flores how's it going my friend okie catfishing what's going on Okie Catfishing actually did a, a stress test with my whisker sticks on his YouTube channel a while back. I fell in love with it. Grips feel great. Definitely getting one. Yeah. Yeah, those those flathead rods are amazing. If you guys haven't seen it, it's, as far as I know, he's the only, that's the only rod that I know of that has that kind of handle. It kind of looks like a golf club handle, like a rubbery golf club or baseball bat handle. It's really super light. It feels like you're holding this. That's how light that rod feels. I mean, I'm even a, you know, I, I don't know if I got average size women hands or not, but for me, holding that rod, it, it was awesome. Average I mean, I had, it, it was awesome. That's all I can say. I mean, some rods you get that, you know, it just doesn't fit your hand right. And when I went over there, because it sounds like, well, Mom, if you're excited about this rod, come here. I got this one to show you. She's like, hey, it check out this nice, ripping lips rod that Frank turned her on to. It was a nice rod. It had a nice feel of the grip. I was like, you need to come feel this flathead You rod. know, and especially when you you know when you're going to cast it out, the thing ain't going to slip out of your hand. And you know. The fact that it's real nice, lightweight, one-piece rod. It's got a real thick tip, but it's got a super fast action. So you can crack that thing like a whip. And if you got a two pound bluegill with one of these on there, that's a lot of aerodynamics. So you got to whip it hard to get it out there if you're going for a long cast, especially on lakes and reservoirs. And with that grip, and with you it know being you're not that light, with it being that light, that's less effort you got to do to throw it. Yes. Fat boy, damn, what's going on, Mike Chavez? Thanks for joining. Where can I look at one? Um, if you want to see the flathead rod, Chris Flores has a. A video talking about it on his channel on Muddy River Catfishing. Um, I did a <coughs> walk around uh, at the Catfish Conference, and towards the end, I did a video or I, I did a segment with him and let him show it off in my walk around tour. I think it was like an hour long. I did walk around. I wanted to stop by every booth and let you guys see as much as I could physically get on film. And uh, he's got a nice, pretty long segment in there. You might have to jump through a little bit to find it. And other YouTubers got him on there too, showing it off. But he's got a casting edition, and he's got a, a spinning edition. Yeah. Will be available on my website very soon. They retail for $79, and 
and I believe it's $25 in shipping. But if you order like, I think it's up to four rods. So if you get some buddies to go together with you and get a bundle order, you only got to pay the $125 shipping for up to four rods. So it'd be cheaper than buying one rod at a time. So four guys want to buy each one buy one rod. Mm -hmm. Don't make individual purchases. Put them all on, on one person's tab and get four of them. Save you $75 in shipping. I can't wait to use my Muddy River Flathead rod floats here soon. Great walk around. Yeah, it, it was a little long. You guys know I do long videos. But I try to show you guys everything. And uh, some I get tired when I'm talking. <laughs> I, I did a two-hour stream showing you guys uh, everything on the laptop going back. And uh, going through what I did the other night. And I was falling asleep while I was talking. Only thing I forgot to get was Muddy River Bobbers and dip bait. The, uh, the creeping death dip bait is creeping death. It smells like death. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a mud stick. Well, Chris, Fat Boy Dan needs a mud stick. Hook him up. There you go. We gotta hook Fat Boy Dan up. He's one of the founding fathers of the catfishing YouTube channel. But yeah, we just wanted to get on here and uh, tell you guys about what's going on. I missed it. What's with the black light sticks? That would be sweet with hook setters, four inch split tails. Yeah. Peter? Send me some of those uh, plastic baits and we're going to test them out. I'm going to try it on that crawl too. That's full brightness compared to this full brightness. It's a little bit dimmer, but I want to see what it does. Peter, take care of Fat Boy Dan. <laughs> Fat Boy Dan wants a mud stick, Peter. Um, yeah, we got to hop off here though for a little bit. I got to get ready to head back to my house, get the kids uh, off the bed for school and stuff, so... I just wanted to take time and show you guys that mod, show you guys these uh these sleek sticks and see what see what you guys think of those. Show you the ultraviolet light, introduce you to the crew, and show you guys what we got going on coming up. So if you guys got any questions after this, shoot us a message on the page. If you want to put a pre-order in for whisker sticks through us, you can go ahead and order now, pay now, and it'll be about a six to eight week. Uh, turnout before we get them out out to your door so um, if you guys don't mind paying ahead of time you're already locked in we'll take the orders in which the, in order which they received and first second third fourth whoever does their orders that they get priority on uh, the batch that comes out right so you guys will be the first ones to get them as soon as they're made walking dead, dead time. time oh <laughs> walking dead time uh. all right guys we're gonna hop off here Shoot a message if you got any questions. Uh, I don't know who you'll be talking to. It's usually me, but every once in a while you guys might hear from, from Lena or Molly or maybe even my brother, John. Right. So just be looking out for more content coming out. We'll keep you guys up to date when new stuff rolls out. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably actually clip this stream right here and put it on the YouTube channel too so anybody who's not watching this now can see it later on YouTube. And uh, we'll see what happens in the next video. We'll catch you guys later. All right. Bye-bye.